So Skinner's not the only one singing the Jigging Jerk song, apparently. So is Ernesto, our client today. Yes. Just one guy. Yes. Skinner me and Ernesto headed out to Montauk. 9 a.m. start and start a little later today. The forecast said the winds were going to subside. It actually turned out opposite. Opposite. The wind was zero this morning. But what are you going to do? That's it's the forecast. The and the Messiah says the weather's good, so the weather's good. If not, will you walk on fluke water? Stop. <laughs> Here we go. We'll check back in a little bit. All right, here we go, guys. A Saturday, August 31, solo. And by solo, I mean one client, Ernesto, trip, a charter uh, with the Skinner package. So it was just Skinner, Ernesto, and myself, as you heard in that cold intro. And a very interesting trip. And it's a tale of two cities. Um, the very next day, we'll, we'll meet the guys from El Nino in a, in a few minutes. Those guys, my Minn Kota slash Hummingbird teammates, just absolutely killed it. They had three double-digit fluke on their trip. Our trip, and, th and this was consistent on this day because we had a bunch of friends out there fishing on their boats, uh, four other boats out there, um, lots of keepers, but no real monsters. And that's fluke fishing. You sometimes uh, get lucky and, you know, there's a body of big fish out there. And sometimes there's a lot of keepers, not necessarily a lot of big keepers. And that was certainly today. Um, notwithstanding that, Ernesto really uh, sort of a novice fluke fisherman. He just got into it. He wanted to learn from the master, the messiah, the fluke messiah, John Skinner. And I, I, I think he got that. He, uh, you know, we coached him the whole day. I, I didn't really fish that much. I did get in. There's a really funny clip with the fish I hooked at the end. Uh, stay tuned for that or stay till the end for that. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it was definitely a great day for Ernesto from a keeper perspective. Um, I believe he limited within two drifts. I believe he finished with six or seven keepers. Skinner had about the same. So, you know, you can't be mad when you catch that many keepers. Would it have been nice to catch an 8-pounder to a 10-pounder? Of course. Uh, but I think Ernesto had a great time regardless. Lots of laughs, lots of joking. And I think he, he learned a lot about fluke fishing from John Skinner. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like this content, please hit that subscribe button. What he's talking about is like this. You don't have to do the vertical, but you, oh, you just got hit. You want to have some kind of cadence where you're you're really giving it a little bit of action not yeah, not motion. just in this not not this 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 is not doing anything 80 feet down you're not getting yeah this is sea bass shit you want this you want and a fluke kid is going to feel like you got caught on the bottom and on those you go hard don't hesitate. don't hesitate go ahead yeah like like what i showed you the uh, what do you got on that's a fluke a ling? You need a net? Got any weight? Uh, I could, yeah. Alright, let me get the net. I don't know why I have the net back here. What do you got? Oh yeah, look at that Skinner. Nice. Keeper. So, keep him fish. We can't presume any. It's a nice fish, actually. Sorry. So you see in this clip that we have our drift sock out. I highly recommend drift socks if you're fluke fishing, especially on windy days. It'll slow the drift down anywhere from 0.2 to 0.5 uh, miles per hour. As the day went on, the wind subsided and we put the drift sock away. You're on. There you go, Ernesto. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. That's a fluke. Oh, yeah, I got the net. That, that's another thing. Just when you reel them up, just keep the rod there. Yep. Fresh rod. And, and nice smooth motion. It's not a race. How's it feel? Uh, it's swimming up with it. Okay. They do that. Yep. Looks like it's got a good hook set. A uh, uh, nice violent little uh, head shake there. Yeah. Looks like it has some weight. A little bit. Okay. All right. Let's let's fill up the box with four eater-sized fish, and then we'll play catch and release with the tens. Sounds great. So, with the cutting off of the top. Yeah. So if I would have had an extra heavy, is that the equivalent well, of cutting it, off the top? Or? That's what. I'll let you know because I broke my XH out today. Try it. Skinner, I think this is an okay fish he has. I did try it in the. Uh, uh, what is this? I thought it was bigger. 
Might be a keeper. It's long, but no meat on him. I wouldn't keep this guy, but I just want to see if he's a keeper. Yeah, he's, he's definitely a keeper. Too skinny though, right Skinner? Look at this guy. Oh, it's up to him. I mean, you want to keep him? No. You got to keep her at least. He gets four sea bass too. Yeah. So, so unfortunately, Ernesto, and I checked with the DC on this, only the paying customer is allowed to keep fish. Okay. So Skinner and I, uh, Skinner's technically the mate. Um, I don't, uh, where is he? It's too close. And as I mentioned in that opening, my Minn Kota hummingbird teammates, the El Nino, they were out and, um, you know, they had a, a very similar day to our day, keepers, lots of keepers, but no be really big fish. They came out the next day, Sunday, September 1, in a howling wind. They're on a 23-foot parker. Enormous waves. They hit the south side, one of the very few boats that actually ventured out and probably the smallest. And man, were they rewarded. Take a look at these pictures. Uh, the captain of the boat, Nino Averso, uh, First double digit, and uh, my good buddy Ron Redro, two double digits. Um, amazing. These guys constantly produce, and very happy for them. He always does. No. There you go, Ernesto. Tight, tight, tight on him. There you go, kid. Yeah, don't give it slack. Don't like when you when when you're up on top. Reel down. Don't then bring down and start reeling. How's it feel? It feels nice. Oh, okay, all right. It's, it's easy, easy, easy. Now he's got some weight on this. Skinner the pessimist. Actually, it's Skinner the realist. It, I'm not seeing the right head shakes. It could be a big sea bass. It's not swimming out like a bluefish. Yeah. I'm seeing more of the bouncing. I think it's a big sea bass too. Oh, oh, yeah. maybe Skinner. Anyway, you're really perfect. You know, that's, that's steady, the rod, really he took line too. I don't know many sea bass that take line. Right, that was line I heard peeling, right? Yeah, he might be swimming up with you. It's a fluke. No, close. Yeah, definitely a keeper. Better than the last one, I think. Zero. Yeah, 20 inches. Want them? Keep them. If you're going to keep fish, keep them. Keep That's the size fish. to keep. You, you never know. It sounds real. Yeah, there's a fluke. There you go. There you go. Nice and easy. And I missed the hook set because I went to see where we were on the drift. Yeah, well, Uh-oh. That's just in case you need it. Feels light? Um, no, it's got some steady weight to it. Okay. Alright, nice and easy. I'd like to say you it was a good hook set, but I totally missed it. I just yeah, saw you reeling. You were finished. Oh, alright. It was a Rick set, huh? <laughs> Whoa. He's got he's got a nice hook, uh, head shake again though. Yeah, it's gonna be a Yeah. I mean, he's a keeper, but this is going to be number three in the box. But I, I hear you, Skinner. Nothing is guaranteed in life. All right, he's on the zero. Yeah, he's 19 and a half. Put him back. Yeah, we're halfway there. Yeah. I mean, I'm presuming. Well, sorry. They just inhale it, man. Yellow yeah. fin. Huh? The guy in the yellow fin. Oh, oh, what do you got? Uh, Better? Oh, look at that. Yes. Okay. Nice and slow. Don't get don't get loco, Ernesto. <laughs> oh, Porgy, he'll take that. I'm not used to all this tutoring over here. I'm over at Catfree. It's like, all right, just reel it in. How about we sing 80s themes, TV theme songs? Show me that smile. He might have wanted it. He was, he was, I mean, barely a keeper. 
Show me that smile. Name the song. Name the TV show. Oh, he got it. <laughs> Right, we go all day. As long as we got each other, thing, we got the world. Got baby, keep you up, and me. Keep that rod lower. And keep it away. Yeah. Move to the right a little. Oh, keep them. Yeah. Keep them away from the net. That's good. I think this is okay. Yeah. Maybe a big sea bass. Oh no, it's a fluke. It's a fluke. Peach. Oh, you just slacked them. Oh, it's a nice one. Better at least. Yeah, that's better. That's like the one you caught, Skiller. Maybe yeah. right around that size. Yeah. Oh, moving east, Skiller. Good idea. I mean, we both had it at the same time. Yeah, that's that's not. Don't even need to measure this. Yeah. We're gonna do better, but these are the good ones for eating. It was the it was the Mike Seaver reference. Of, that, was the most, that was the most crowded day. Yeah, but we we had absolutely perfect drift conditions that day. That was a nice straight east to west drift. Uh, we didn't have the north wind. Although, Ernesto, a north wind out here is preferable. Yeah? It's nice. Yeah. Okay. Smaller? Yeah. Um, south wind, you have nothing behind you. So it builds and builds. It can be downright scary. Um, North wind, you know, we have land, we have Connecticut, it, it can't build as much, it's not the big rollers. He's, he's just going to be another one of those small, small changes. I don't know. Looks, looks like, I bet you it's like the last one Ernesto caught, like the 23. Oh. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of between what I said and you said. What do you think? Let him go? Ernesto, we got one more we can put in the box. You want a bigger one or? I should wait. For, well, I would wait for a bigger one. Yes. Okay. Got, we got a lot of time. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Down, yeah. down. Yeah. Real, real, real. Okay. There you go. Nice and slow. Yeah. How's this one feel? It's a better. I think it's, it's better. Yeah. Be the best one. On again. <laughs> Keep a bend in that rod. There you go. Yeah, this is this is the best one, I think. Yep. I love how level that boat rides, man. Holy cow. The little boat and it just, no, oh wow. Oh, Should I get the go. bigger leg? Yeah. No, I don't think you'll need big head, but it's gonna be a nice fish. Let's swim it up with you now. There he yeah. goes. Now I put the brakes on well, for a second. You know what it is too, we're going up and down, so. Yeah. Oh yeah, better fish. There you go. There you go. Getting there. Better fish. All right, this one's going in the box. This this yeah. is, this is, yeah. What color did he hit? Hit the orange? Oh, the pink. Yeah. No, orange in the mouth. Oh, was it orange? Yeah. Oh, all right. No. Just me. Online. Oh, Online. there you go. Coming. Good, right? I nice. It. I got it, I got it. It's gonna stay down. I got hit 8,000 times. This, has got, this one's got... Potential? A good call. Yeah, I, like that. I like that too. <laughs> it's coming straight up. Good job. It's good. I saw still it. not. I, we expect still a nice one. We Slack expect, it off. Oh no, it's a great fish. But yeah. I mean, it's long. I still thought. Yeah, nice, healthy fish, but. You're pretty good at calling the weight, though. The, once, you, once you see that. Woo, there it goes. What do you got? Oh, that's a fluke. Good? 
Yeah, I'm coming with the net. <laughs> well, he doesn't answer. <laughs> I mean, he's not a tour map, really. Ernesto okay, wants to bring him up. Oh, that's a nice one. It's okay. And, and easily, like I said, that thing is like easily seven or eight years old, that piece of bait. Oh. Want me to take a picture with you holding it? Yeah. Huh. I got that other rod rigged on the gunnel, on the right side gunnel, the starboard gunnel in the back. That a fish? Yeah. What is the drift? Very strange here. Am I clearing you? Yeah. You definitely, I think, it's saved the. Uh, here, so. It is. Don't my line. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Oh, that's a very good fish. It was just Come on, bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Ernesto wants to uh, bring it up, Skinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know the game this one's going on. It's going to be like... It's going to be a five inch. Yeah, right and straight up now. Nice. Ah, this is like... Oh, oh, looks like I can make it just move oh, right out. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, just dump it. Yeah. That's a nice so, fish. Yeah. Got it? All right, guy. Ooh. Ooh. So, one observation today, one of the things that I like, especially as a <laughs> <laughs> So, Ernesto, I, at least I'm. Uh oh, oh, he's on a good fish. Give it to Ernesto! It's a good fish, it's a good fish. I don't even know if I have my camera on. Is my camera on? Yes. Give, give the pole no, to Ernesto. No, I won't take it. Come on, I want to make fun of you again. No. <laughs> Big net? Ah, uh, no, small net. But... All right. I don't know. I think this is the big fish of the day. That's my prediction. Yeah, which is why I thought big net. We might get that seven pounder. Yeah, it's a beautiful fish. Actually, it's 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 nice. a really good fish. Nice. Yeah, good job, Skinner. Yeah, it's a 26 inch fish, I would say. Oh, I have tail. On the otter tail. That was gonna be our last keeper of the day. Again, a lot of keepers on this trip. A lot of fun, a lot of laughs. Ernesto's a great guy. And I know he learned a lot. And we're gonna end uh, this video with uh, a little blooper reel of, um, you know, I, I, I fished for maybe half an hour trying to get uh, on a big fish. And my goal all along was to get a big fish on and pass it to Ernesto. And, you know, we thought we had it, but uh, we, we really didn't. Did you get him on the otter tail or the grub? Just the grub. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is a good fish. No, no, don't. Yeah, no, no. no. Yeah, you got to come up. That's the real deal. Ernesto, please come take it. Oh no, no, no. Please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I want you to take this. I want you to take this. I want to be able to say I put you on a decent fish. Please. This is really good. Come on, come on, come on. Just leave it in, leave it in. Feel the weight on this. All right. Get the big net. Yeah, yeah. Can you do that? I'll get the big net. That is a completely different feel. Yeah, right? Keep a bend on that rod. Feels good, right? Yeah, that feels very nice. I'm curious to see what you got. Yeah, well, I wanted to get you the biggest. Oh. Oh, Ernesto. How, how's it feel, Ernesto? Oh. Here, take the net, you. How's, how's, how's healthy does this rod feel? Hey, I got him on the otter tail, at least. Yeah, you had me fooled. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't see how Is this the part where you guys do like a, a, a grouper reel on me? Or set me <laughs> no, up? I thought. I thought it was legit. Like we got no video. But you saw the head shake and everything. Oh no, that was a, that was a big fish, yeah.
Okay. No, I, I wouldn't do that to you. I mean, I would, but I didn't that time. <laughs> Sorry about that. I really thought I was giving you like a late pounder. I think you were testing.